Okay, in this video we're going to talk about programming the NICE OX2 radio receiver and programming the NICE ON2E uh, remote control into that radio receiver. Now the, the logic for programming this into the OX2 is the same as it is for the OXI series of radio receivers such as the OXI, the OXI-BD or the OXI-LR. Um, so first thing you'll need to do is locate the radio receiver. If it's a standalone one like this one in the video, um, then it'll be located down by the gate control panel, the garage door control panel. Um, if it's a plug-in radio receiver, such as the OXI, it'll be plugged into the control panel itself of the gate system. Um, so in this video, we're going to show you how to program into channel one and channel two on the standalone radio receiver. And we'll talk a bit about what will happen if you kind of did the same logic on the OXI. Um, so first things first, once you've found the radio receiver, you need to find the programming button, which is on the front of the OX2 radio receiver here. Uh, if it's the OXI series of radio receiver, it will need to be, uh, it will be on the side of it or on the top if it's one of the later versions. So first things first, once you've found those uh, programming buttons, press the learn button on the receiver just once and release. Now the LED will be flashing once per second, signifying channel one. Press and hold the button on the remote control down until you get three long flashes. One, two, three. Then let go. The LED will go back to flashing once per second and uh, eventually will time out after, after a few seconds. And then once it's timed out, the, the channel one on this remote control will now trigger channel one on this radio receiver. Now channel two is not learnt in yet. You'll see the LED coming on the radio receiver. Uh, but no activation. So to program into channel two on this radio receiver, um, we'll need to press the button twice uh, where we pressed it once before. Now, if we did this on a gate system, what would happen is it would trigger the pedestrian mode off that gate and open one of the gate leaves partially, if it's a swing gate, or the if it's a sliding gate, open the main leaf partially. That's uh, known as pedestrian mode. So, but for this video, we've got it on a standalone receiver. So to program channel two, uh, press this button once, twice. Now you'll see the difference here between the first time is that LED is now flashing twice a second. Um, when it's in that mode, press and hold down the channel on the remote control you want to learn in again, again, until you get three long flashes. One, two, three, then let go. Again, the LED will go back to flashing. So it's doing twice a second still saying it's in mode for programming for channel two. Wait for that to time out. And when it's timed out, this remote will now trigger channel two, relay two of that, of that radio receiver. Um, next, we'll discuss a bit about what happens if you've programmed this into the wrong channel or you need to reconfigure the buttons that are on the remote control so that they're activating the correct relay. Um, it does happen. You can program these into the incorrect relay or you may have automatically assigned both channels into this receiver without unknowingly. Um, so to erase a single channel from the remote control, what you need to do is find the get, get to the receiver again, press and hold down the learn button, but don't let go this time and wait till the LED comes on solid. Whilst that's on solid, press and hold the channel on the remote control you wanna delete and keep it held down until you get five short flashes and then let go. So now channel one on a remote control LED comes on, but there's no activation. None of the devices are operable. Channel two, still learnt in. So you'll hear the relay click. Um, so we could, if you wanted to delete channel two as well, you can do exactly the same thing. Press and hold down until the LED comes on solid. Keep it held down, don't let go. And then at the same time, press and hold down channel two on the remote control again until you get five short flashes and then let go. So neither of these channels on the remote control will work now, you'll see the LED coming on, but there's no relay activation. Um, so they're exactly the same thing on the OXI receiver if you needed to do that. Um, now, if you've lost a remote control um, or it's been stolen and there's a kind of a, a compromise to the security on the gates or garage door, um, the other option you have here is completely erasing all memory on the, on the radio receiver entirely. And uh, that will, delete any any remote control which has been learnt into its memory and then you can program the existing ones back into that memory so that the one that's been lost or stolen will no longer work. So to do this uh, again press the hold the learn button down 
Keep it held down this time though. And what we're looking for is the LED to come on solid then it will go off and then it will slowly flash. And on the fifth flash, let go. One, two, three, four, five. And literally it has to be, you have to let go as that LED lights up on the fifth flash. You hold it too long and the LED goes off and then you let go, it won't erase. The way to, to signify that it has erased the memory is that rapid flash. You're looking for that rapid flash. If it doesn't rapidly flash, um, then you've missed the, the, the window to, to delete the memory. Um, so that's a brief introduction on the OX2 and the OXI receiver. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or contact us via technical at easygates.co.uk.